Oh, what is happening? What is happening, everybody? It's, um, fuck, what day is it? Wednesday. We're down in Adelaide. Not a bad day, but it's pretty cold, actually. I'm just staying at a friend's place while I'm down here, so uh, this morning I went and got a coffee, checked out the Anytime Fitness, which is around here, which is about uh, five minutes down the road, which is all good. So um, I'm going to hit a push session, chest, shoulders and triceps. I'm not, honestly guys, like my attitude um, is not the same as it was last time I went away. I'm not cutting. Um, you know, all I'm, all I'm going to want to do is probably train four times a week and keep the eating up and that's, that's all I can do. So just making sure my sessions are well fueled before and after, um, pushing as heavy a weight as I can, and um, hopefully I'll be back in Alice Springs in three weeks at around about 100 kilo, and we'll see how it looks. So not much to say really, um, just feeling a little bit, I don't know, tired this morning I guess. It was a fucking long drive yesterday, so as you can imagine, um, I got a little bit tired, so I slept for about 10 hours last night, but I definitely needed it. And I thought I'd just show you guys my little mate here. Uh, the person I'm staying with is actually raising this little bird who doesn't have a wing. Where is it? There he is. So anyways guys, uh, I'm going to get a, a monster on the way. Really need to fucking cut my caffeine, eh? That's, that's something I'm, I'm committed to trying to sort out whilst I'm on holiday, is actually controlling my caffeine intake. Um, as well as that, also controlling something else, but we'll get into that at a later date. Um, that said guys, today is day 750. 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, day 60. It is day number 60. Lego. I've got the biggest names on the poster, and I think for good reason. Yeah, they're, uh, they're dogs, and maybe um, Nancy Thomas. Better miss California. No, oh, good <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're going to get to enjoy these songs performed live in Adelaide. You are going to R&B Fridays Live. No, oh my god, thank you. It's actually made my day. Oh my god. Honestly, you asked me why I like living in Adelaide Springs. The first time I go to try and go to the gym, I get a pre-workout drink, I go to the gym, I try and get a car park, can't fucking get one for 20 minutes. I've been trying to get a motherfucking park for 20 minutes, god damn it. That's ridiculous. You don't even try to get a park in Alice Springs, they're just there. It's fantastic. Anyways, shoes on, monster getting drunk as we speak. I've got a water bottle, I've got my headphones, we're gonna go smash a push session. I might get some footage, I doubt it, but should be good going in a brand new gym. That's always fun, so let's do it. All right, guys. Anytime fitness gawler, bathroom, and the chest is indeed pumped. Uh, we've had a good session, two pressing movements, one incline, one flat, uh, two cable crossover movements, one from slightly above the shoulder and one from below. It's a pretty sweet gym actually. Alright. One chest session in the books. Didn't do uh, 
shoulders and triceps because I've actually got that organized for tomorrow uh, with my man Dylan the guy who I was meant to compete with but never did so he lives down here in Adelaide so I've texted him and luckily he told me that everything else is spent except for his chest no except for his shoulders and triceps so I stopped after chest uh, it was a pretty good workout it's a fucking cool gym actually it's right I'll show you it's um it's the top level of a building the entire top level so it's got windows all around the outside and um it's fucking cool so uh two two pushing exercises i started off on my all-time favorite which i haven't used for ages because i wasn't a member uh, which is the hammer strength incline press so i did working sets with three plates dropped it down to two and a half did a couple of a couple more working sets and then um one plate for a rep, uh, AMRAP set of about fucking 40 reps. Following that, we did two fly movements, one on the pack deck and one on the cables. And uh, yeah, chest is great, so chest is pumped. It's all good. So now I'm gonna go to the supermarket, buy a whole chicken, because I can't be fuck cooking anything. I'm gonna buy a whole cooked chicken as well as some carb sources from the bakery and then I'm gonna go home, fucking put my feet up and eat and watch TV and wait for my mate to come home because then we're gonna go out for dinner again. Last night we went out for Cafe Primo which is pretty nice. I mean, it's, it's special for me because I'm living in fucking Alice Springs but I'm sure if you lived in a major city, Cafe Primo wouldn't be uh, you know, top of the list but uh, for me, last night it was great and Gotta get a haircut too, but yeah, as I said, first of all, we'll go in the supermarket and get some food. And you know what, just before I do go, I am gonna call it here, guys. You know what I'm doing tonight, I just told you. Tomorrow's vlog's gonna be sweet because I'm gonna go to Anytime Fitness, my, Anytime Fitness Mile End, catch up with Dylan, probably have a meal afterwards. Um, you're gonna see who the season Oh, what is it? Season B, INBA Men's Physique Tall Class winner was for 2016. That's who I'm meeting up with tomorrow. It should be an awesome session. I'm hoping I'm stronger than him because I'm about 20 kilos fucking heavier, but I probably won't be. Uh, so it should be a good day. And yeah, one thing I have been struggling with, guys, is just motivation for the gym, man. Motivation for the gym. This is the point that I can never get through. I just put up a video yesterday, it was called To Mini Cut or Not. I'm, I'm so thankful for all your guys' feedback because you know it's reinforced in my head that I can't mini cut, it's just gonna be it's gonna be bad for me. You know it's a daily it's a daily fucking struggle to to get that off my brain um, and just be focused on building muscle and, and eating more. You know, when I'm feeling lean, it's easy to eat a lot and it's easy to, and you know what, it's, it's played with my head so fucking much that my appetite has suffered. I don't feel like eating, I really don't. You know, I'm telling myself, oh, you know, <laughs> it'll be easy to stick to 2,500 calories. You can do it, you can do it. I tell you what, after three days of sticking to it, I bet you I won't be able to fucking do it. And then I'll start cheating on my diet. I, w I won't be doing this aggressive mini cut because the only reason what the only the only reason I'd actually do a proper mini cut is if I was going to be extremely aggressive with it and get it done like that you know in and out of a caloric deficit for, for three to four weeks and be losing you know at least a kg of body fat each week for those four weeks if I lost four kgs of body fat from my frame right now I'd be real happy but it's going to compromise the gains that I've made in the last 10 weeks so fuck that you know thanks to your guys comments as well as my own brain um, I'm slowly slowly getting over that I think if I can get to four months 16 weeks I think I'll be over that if I can get to 16 weeks with some relatively you know all right shape and the right lighting um, I'll be happy and I think I'll be at 100 kgs which will be another nice milestone um, I'll be at you know all of this wanting to be lean, all of this wanting to be lean shit would honestly go out the window if I could see on the scales legitimately 100 kilo in the morning and be in alright shape 
honestly, I'd be so happy with that. I'd be fucking happy to, to tell people, yeah, I'm 220 pounds, I'm 100 kilo. It'd be, it'd be nice to say, I know numbers mean nothing, but seriously, that would be really nice to, to be able to say that. So that is a goal, and if I mini-cut now, I'm never gonna get there. So with that said, guys, that's how we're feeling tonight. On the 60th day of games, I'll hit you with the side chest. And we're out. <laughs> That's Kevin Lavroni, by the way. He's the man. Hey, Psst. come here. <laughs> here he comes.